what's up everyone? I'm back on Nikki Cowgirl time and we are in Charlotte, North Carolina for the day. We are back on our road trip. I am with Mackenzie and Jules and we are spending the day in Charlotte and then heading to Nashville for Mackenzie's birthday. I'm really excited. But today we're gonna go around Charlotte and shop and stuff and I'm gonna bring you guys along. My outfit, this corset is from White Fox. These pants are from A Goldie and I'm also wearing Converse. And we're heading out the door. You know you're down south when they have sweet tea in the lobby. It tastes so good. I'm like such a big sweet tea person. I don't know where the hell Mackenzie and Jules just went, but they left me. I went to go get a coffee and they didn't have coffee cups, but they had iced tea. The weather is just absolutely marvelous today. It is like maybe 75, sunny, zero humidity. There is not, well, there's a few clouds in the sky, but like just the wispy kind, not anything crazy. We don't have anything in the queue until 7 p.m. tonight and we have a dinner club then. Definitely gonna need to eat something before that though. You guys know I'm a big breakfast person, so maybe gonna get a breakfast sandwich, something of that sort, maybe a coffee. But we're walking to South End right now. We're walking right now through like the residential area before we get to like more of the shops. There's a lot of apartments like this and I, for, I don't know where exactly this reminds me of. But these are like really cute apartments. Like there's like a speed line right here. It looks like they have pretty good public transport here. But one thing that I am noticing about Charlotte that I didn't really notice last time is that it is there is a lot of greenery. So the people that we met last night that lived here were telling us like what they would compare Charlotte to New York. They said like, they would say New York has better food and a little bit of a better bar scene, which like New York is known for that. But Charlotte has a lot more to do. It's a little more spread out and a little more green. So a little bit more residential of a city. Check out how cute this little restaurant is called Flower Child. They have a really cute little bee mural on the side we're gonna take a picture with. And looky, here comes the train. Maybe it's the train. I don't know what I would consider it. I think I'm gonna pick up this for my dad for Father's Day. We're at Girl Tribe Co. and they have all kinds of eras gear. Guys, we stumbled upon this spot and it's like a candle making spot. Um, I've never done a candle making class, but I've always wanted to try. Look how cute it is. Like how fun for like a date or like a girl's day. So this place is called Patty Wax and they have like all the candle making in the back and a lot of really cute like knickknacky types of things in the front. I really need a new journal because like over the past year, a lot of crazy things have happened to me and I've been like journaling through my old one about that and I'm almost done it, but I kind of feel like I want to like turn the page and start with a new one and I love this design. I think it's just like really cute, but it's like kind of furry and I think it might be a little too thick to travel with and I want to make sure that I bring my journal with me when I go places so I like consistently am doing it. Yeah, I'm on the hunt for a new journal. Gals are doing a little shopping day. We just went to Free People. Oh my gosh, everything in this store I'm in love with. Like dream collab for me for sure. Mackenzie just got a bunch of selects from them so that's awesome for her. She's like debating on possibly this Iceland opportunity. So uh, me and Jules are trying to tell her to go but we'll have to see. Um, they have so many good things for spring and summer here. I feel like it's a really good place to get accessories as well. They have like a lot of very unique things. Yeah. Guys, I'm like Mackenzie and Jules, like help me pick my ring collections. And like, they keep, they pointed at two rings on my fingers and I'm like, those are so ugly. And those are the rings <laughs> that like I own and came to the store with. And they were like, take that one away, it's so okay, ugly. Okay, to be fair, I think I a lot know. of Jules rings are ugly too. They're both, this they're both really they're referring into, to? they're really into and like this one. unique rings. And I wear the same like, Two very simple rings. Oh, I'm not a I'm I not just, a like, funky ring girl. I just like can't believe it was twice in a row. It was like, it was, like the first like, one. You're so mean, Mackenzie. And then she goes, <laughs> the first I one they were like, guys, like, take that one away so good. And I was like, that's <laughs> literally mine. And she was like, well, this one's not yours, right? And I was like, no, 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 that also is mine. Okay, so it makes we're me looking feel at. Better that you thrifted it. This one I did. Yeah, it had to be like three dollars, no, right? All right. Okay, guys. This one's not my style, but I wouldn't look at your hand and be like, that's ugly. I thought that for sure that was free people. That's why I said it. Sorry. Okay, so, um, like. Just what? the seashell. Yeah, Jules had the seashell in St. Pete, and I loved it, so I'm definitely gonna get this one. It's so big on my face. I said so Jules. Big too. Yeah, like where. I saw Jules wearing a seashell ring, so I bought a seashell ring. Yeah, genuinely. Oh, but. Jules. I also grabbed this little hairpin. I'm gonna have to try and show you guys how I'm gonna put it in my hair. I've never done one of these, but I don't have my clip with me, and I just thought it would be cute to match the ring I just bought. All right guys, I kind of feel like putting my hair up in a clip and I left my claw clip at home. So this is like supposed to be able to hold your hair. I've never done one of these, but let's see if we can make it work. So I'm trying to like use the mirror. Interesting. I think it's kind of cute. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so my hair clip's falling out a little bit. We're gonna have to navigate that, but we just slept into anthropology. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I actually just modeled for them last Friday, so that was really cool. I modeled for their wedding dress collection, The Hold In, and I don't think they have the dresses, obviously, in store, but they have them online. I literally tried on like 90 wedding dresses, and it was the designer that was selling them to the anthropology buyers. So it was really, really cool to see that, and like they were talking about different designs, and how to like alter the dresses and things like that and of course like they selected some they rejected some and i was just like the mannequin for the day but that was my first time working for anthro so that was really exciting i've worked with three people one other time for shoe and footwear campaigns but i that was the first time i've worked with anthro over holden so cool to be in the store as well as you guys know or you might not know their headquarters are in philadelphia at the navy yard so it's only about like 30 minutes from where i live but it's definitely one of my favorite stores and one of my favorite clients to work with one thing i was really surprised about when i was doing the wedding dresses the other day is that they're starting to source some what is the word see-through um sheer they're starting to source some sheer wedding dresses which i was like wow that's like very interesting and they're like sam would you wear this to your wedding and i was like i mean i think i like how it looks but probably not around like my grandma but out of like the 90 dresses that they looked at from beholden they two of them were sheer that they picked and i think they picked about 20 um, and they did pick some designs where they're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and like alter the cut a little bit or something like that But they were really really pretty. They were all different kinds of styles. So it was a really interesting day. So I just put The Anastasia brow freeze on my eyebrows, and I really really like how it looks um, I have like Really crazy eyebrows like they're pretty dark for my hair color and they're pretty long so like other um, gels haven't really been holding them like I'll look in the mirror and they're just like not it so I'm really excited to try this it's like very they're like blue literally so this has got to stay I'm really excited about my purchases so far so we got the ring my hair clip and a brow freeze loves the girl from Sephora I, we literally like exchanged IT's and she was like if you're ever back here let me know we'll hang out I was like absolutely I like my favorite thing about traveling is like meeting new people like that there's so many awesome people in all these different cities what's up Mackenzie let's go to Tecovis Oh yeah, it's Kovis, hell yeah. Kinda like these teas, if I'm being honest. My, my, we're right at home. We were just shoe shopping. I didn't know they did this here. The girl was like, do you want a water or a beer or a seltzer? And I was like, did you just say beer? And so I'm gonna drink a beer for breakfast. Really? That's what I said. Cheers, Charlotte. Definitely I'm getting chips and queso, but got some queso, my fave. Velvet taco, baby. So the clip is now kind of giving me um, a George Washington look, but we're gonna try our tacos. I got two shrimp tacos. They're pretty big, like a taco place. Like two, I think would be good for me. And I'm a hoe for queso, so I had to get that too. Oh, let's just say. I'm not a big fan of a ton of toppings, so I just like. So she got the taco with the out. most toppings? Well guys, rip my hairpin. It literally fell out of my hair onto the ground, broke into pieces. I'm going back to free people and returning this. For sure. So I returned my hair clip. Kind of a bummer, man. I really liked it. I was like, this is like a vibe, how like it holds your hair kind of like a coil clip, but it's almost like an up to. But whatever, we'll find a different one on Amazon or something. Jules is gonna start making Yeah, Jules is gonna make them because she has so many seashells left from Florida. This board is so funny. Someone literally said, Get my hair done. Same, my roots are bad. Welcome to Charlotte. So Google Maps like told us to like, what'd I say? Yeah, no, I navigated us, but Google Maps is telling me to go straight and it's a, it's a railroad. Like, I'm not just gonna walk on a railroad. So um, we're going to some breweries right now. Um, Charlotte's like known for that. And like, I really want to explore some and see which ones are best and try a couple different beers. So we're gonna do that right now. We're going to one called the Soulflock. Soulflock. So we're at So Falk Punch. Let's see, let's see, I'm really excited. I got the Daydream, and she had to like open the keg to get this one, it's like a brand new batch, so I'm excited to try. This was a good recommendation. Um, it's a really good brewery, and there's a lot of people here now. I'm gonna give you guys a little pano. I made friends with the bartender. Her name is Maria. She was awesome. And she just let me. <laughs> I'm 
trying to show my beer my blog, and Jules is already like snatching it away. And Mackenzie's taking my drink. It's like I got queso today, and like I was gonna share it anyway. Like I was more than welcome gonna put it for the table because like I knew I wanted queso and they were never gonna buy it, so I just wanted it for the table. I went to the bathroom and it was like as soon as I got back, it's like they both had like seven chips each, like already like Dude, Jules is like I don't like spicy asked, shit, and she still asked for I don't extra like chips, so she got what she wanted. I don't like spicy I shit. Jules one. is like mixing all the spice in there, like exactly how Dude. I didn't want it. Jules was like, uh, Jules was like this with the chippy uh, <laughs> uh, Okay, like, so this is the video. It's a video. Oh, it's a video. Do you want to be in it? Blogger. What's your name? <laughs> Tommy. What's up, Tommy? Hey, 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 Tommy hey, from Charlotte. <laughs> so this that is on the so four dance. six four nine. That was so Dan. Hi, Dan. What's up? Dan, Dan, so Dan, much. if you're still watching, if you've ever watched my vlog. I wonder if he has. I, comment, please. Give me that stuff. Like, I paid $20 for this. Like, $20? actually. $20? Why did you do that? I have to go say hi to this golden retriever. Like, oh my god, his, like, hair blowing in the wind. Like, he loves his life. I love this dog. Bag of here. I don't even know. Like it, it it's just like struggles. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> like uh, it's it's gonna Guys, have to live there. Our car. I was like, like Jules is no, like no, Mackenzie no. has that little peephole to see out of. All right, guys, let's go. It's 9 a.m. We're in the Smoky Mountains, and Mackenzie. I've been asking Mackenzie to stop for food since six in the morning. So at the gas station, I just got two bags of beef jerky, um, popcorners, and a Rice Krispie treat for breakfast. I don't really know why, but all those things just, just kind of sounded like what I was in the mood for. It's just like that's where we needed to go when there's no one on the road, so we're just gonna reverse right now. <laughs> um, I'm halfway through, guys. I'm doing really well so far. It's been a really, really, really pretty drive. Um, like beautiful. We drove through Asheville area, North Carolina. We just crossed through Tennessee like five minutes ago. Um, the last 20 minutes have been a little stressful because we were running low on gas, too low for my liking. Um, but now we've done well. We got gas for really cheap, saw some strange looking cowboys. And we're about halfway, three hours and 22 more minutes. Um, so yeah, some days I feel like driving's easier than others. Um, sometimes it's just like you can't get the right temperature and you can't get the right song and like whatever. And today has just been fine. Like it's just like we're just going and like we're gonna get there. So the woman in the store told me that we're here the right day because tomorrow it's going to be like overgrown with tourists here because they have 12 whitewater rafting companies right around here. So apparently I guess from Monday Day weekend people are going to, there's going to be tons of it. <laughs> I never, I don't think I've ever bought beef jerky in my life. So why And I just, because I've been, I've, I'm following the carnivore MD on Instagram and he said it's like the healthiest thing to get at a gas station to eat. Getting gas there took us an extra 22 miles to get back on like the right track. Um, but so she's ringing me up and she looks at the other girl, the other clerk there, and she goes, "I know I didn't order enough beef jerky for this weekend, so almost all gone." And I was like, "It's so funny you said that. Like I never ever get beef jerky." So anyway, good morning. All right, guys, we just drove about seven hours from Charlotte to Nashville. I'm going to end this vlog here and start off my Nashville vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave all the Charlotte bricks below. We had a really good time last night. Honestly, we literally went back, went to sleep, and I rolled out about at 6 a.m., so we didn't film much more than that, but it was a great time. I really enjoyed Charlotte this time around. I saw a lot more of it. It seemed a lot younger and more fun than the last time I was there, so I definitely loved that, and I'll catch you guys in my Nashville vlog.